In this piano tutorial, we will be learning how to play the song All We Ask by Donnie McClurkin in the key of F sharp major. And this song was requested through the comment section, so feel free to leave any song requests down below. Now, what I like the most about this song are the voicings that we are going to learn through these chords, right? These voicings are basically following um, or formed in a way that it follows the melody of the song in other words the last note of each chord that we are going to learn is the melody of the song okay so if we learn the numbers for this song for this first part of the song it starts off on the six and it goes six seven one three four six seven right but when we add the chords, which I'll explain um, step by step, it sounds like this. Then it repeats. And it ends on the four. Okay. So the chords that I'm using here, like I said, are going to follow that melody or basically be... Um, following that theory of voice leading um, and we start off on this E flat minor okay and in this case the left hand the voicing that I'm using is that first fifth and tenth voicing okay in this case it's a minor tenth or minor third since it's a minor chord okay if your hand does not reach you can use the pedal to just play it as an arpeggio right like that now the, the right hand is just playing an F sharp major chord. And sometimes I like to leave out this five to make the voicing sound slightly more open, okay? So six, seven, and for the seven chord I'm playing an F, C sharp, and A flat, which is basically just a C sharp major but in an open voicing. And my right hand is playing a C sharp major. Again, I'm leaving out this third to keep it open. So six, seven, one. For this one, I'm playing a, um, an F sharp major at two. Then I go to a three chord, and the three chord sounds slightly dissonant because of these two notes right here. I'm basically playing an F sharp major nine over B flat, but I'm making sure that these two notes are right next to each other to create that special dissonant type of sound, okay? So this is our three chord, then our four chord, right? So for the four chord, we can either play a B or B major seven. Then we go to the six, again, slightly dissonant. And this six is technically a four over six, right? It's basically a, a, a B over the sixth chord, but I'm voicing it in this way. Again, with these two notes right here to keep that dissonance. And then for the seven, very similar to the one we had over here, the only thing that changed was the left hand. Now we're playing up here, okay? And that repeats. But the second time around, when we get to that four, which is the last chord in this case, um, I play it in a way that it creates tension and then it releases, right? So I play it like this. And then I release, right? Tension and release. So here... That repeats again, but then we go into the next portion of the song, which is basically the last um, progression in this song, since the rest of the song is the same. And in this case, the numbers for this part of the song are two, one, seven, then a six, seven, one, three, four. And then it repeats again, but it changes slightly. It goes two. Seven, one, 
three, four, right? But let's let's do that in, with context with the rest of the chords, and it sounds like this. Right, so what I'm doing here is using, um, again, following that melody to start off on the two chord, which is an A flat minor. Then we go down to the one chord, which is an F sharp major add two. Then the seven chord, which is the same that the same one we used up here, right? But I'm just doing it an octave lower. Then a six chord. Again, it's just technically a four over six. We use that same seven chord and we're back to the one. So now we do a three chord. This is the voicing I'm using and then a four chord. And now this repeats, but slightly different. Two, seven, one, three, then four and then from here we basically go back to the beginning and it ends on a four all right so that's basically the whole song but what I'm going to do now is play it through so that way you have a better understanding of how it sounds without any interruptions i may include some embellishments but hopefully you can capture my approach to the song and be able to learn something extra from this portion of the video